Today I'm going to go over uh, Feeds Node Helper. Uh, so it recently received a full stable version. Uh, it was in beta for a while. Um, the latest addition to this version is this, this convert to get value. And so what this allows you to do is create an address uh, so that when the importer is run, you're actually allowing to kind of pre-populate certain values based on the way the address was created. And so well, let's see how this works in practice. So I have my tamper plugins here um, for something called blog post in the Open Studio. And so we'll allow students to import posts from an RSS feed. Um, but RSS doesn't come with a way of mapping to this, you know, exhibit node ID value, right? So this is what's going to associate incoming posts to um, kind of their working area. And we'll show that. So what you do with the tamper is convert to get value and you add the plugin. And so the way we have this set up is there's just get argument to use, which is field exhibit reference, right? And so that's basically going to say that whenever it sees field exhibit reference in the URL, it's going to take that value and convert this value to that. Uh, so this is kind of a transformation case. Um, Node Helper also, or Feeds Node Helper also comes with a current user ID case, which is another transformation. You're basically ignoring uh, what Feeds wanted to import as data and utilizing the fact that Feeds has a lot of other awesome things it does, uh, like pulling in content in the first place. Um, so this is kind of more for cleaning up those few extraneous fields. So let's go to um, one of our, our studio spaces. And so just to give an idea of what this is, uh, Open Studios, something we've been running for a while in-house, but we're working towards uh, releasing the next version of Elm. So create exhibit, cool stuff. Um, I like to post things elsewhere. And so what you can do in the Open Studio is uh, you basically create a little exhibit space, and then this gives the ability for instructors and other students to come by and comment on your exhibit, kind of like what you would find um, in a classroom on campus here. So you, know, you can give a rating. Um, the idea is that you would then critique their work. And so they can, they have a couple options. So right now, um, we only support images, but we're trying to move towards video and um, little micro posts and things if they have to react to stuff. So you can see what we do is, hey, create it. Exhibit image, title, exhibit has been set to this um, through the address bar. So this uses a pre-populate module. So what we wanted to do is basically replicate the same thing, but allow people to import stuff uh, from an RSS feed. So this way they can do work uh, where they feel most comfortable and then still pull it into the Open Studio and allow students and instructors to have more of a secure critiquing environment so that, you know, I don't post on my public blog and then all of my friends see that you know, I got shamed in a, in a harsh critique or whatever the case may be. So um, I'm gonna, I have this URL we're gonna import from, uh, which is drupal.pshu.edu. Uh, this is the last five posts that I did, it's the way the RSS works there. Um, but you can see from the way the address has been constructed, so this import blog posts, the destination, which you actually could use if you use destination instead of field exhibit reference, it wouldn't make sense, but you could. Um, destination is equal to this, and then field exhibit reference. So destination is a hard-coded Drupal thing that will push the address back to uh, where you were when it's done processing. Field exhibit reference is what we're using. So you see I'm passing this 579, which is what the active exhibit is. Uh, this way we can pre-populate a field that we traditionally are not going to get through RSS. And so what happens is when I run the import, it goes and it asks Drupal.pj.edu for my RSS feed, and it pulled back five things. You'll see it populated the title, it populated the body field, and what you can't really see is the fact that this shows up in the first place is because it's been associated to post 579. And so if I go in and edit on any of these, because we have that tamper in place, it's automatically going to set this to 579. Um, so pretty powerful stuff you can do with feeds. Um, now that this is in place, we could have students or anyone else for that matter go and just hit the, oh, I'm going to you know, add posts via RSS, uh, throw their URL in there, and it's going to, you know, for us, it's going to automatically set the organic group that it's associated to. It's going to set the user who created the post to them so they have access rights and ownership of who sees it, and it's going to set it to the active gallery so that they can easily associate external content to something created internally. 